Do you like working with computers? Do you like learning and problem solving? Do you like making money? If so, then you might want to consider a career in software development. A career in software development allows you to solve problems on a day-to-day -day basis which can feel really rewarding. Additionally, due to the rapid evolution of technology, a career in software development will give you the opportunity to constantly be learning new things. Another major reason to get into the field of software development is that there is a growing need for programmers. We live in a world where everything is becoming technologically automated, and because of this trend, the number of positions in software development is expected to grow by 25% over the next decade, which is much faster than the average growth rate. If that's not enough to sell you, maybe this will. As of November 23, 2022, Salary.com claims that the average salary of a software developer is $105,522 per year. Other sources put this average as high as $120,000 per year. Many jobs are looking for prospects with a bachelor's degree or higher in computer science or software development. Although Highline College does not offer either of those, they do have two-year transfer degrees that will get you prepared to move on to your final two years of education. The benefit of this is getting a great education at a much more affordable price. Additionally, Highline College offers short certificates in both front-end and back-end development. These classes will go over languages like Java, Python, JavaScript, C+, HTML, and CSS, while covering topics such as object-oriented programming and database structure. If it's not clear already, let me state it outright. Highline College is a great place to start your career in software development, but don't just take it from me. Um, what do I like most about it? I like what I like most about it is that the um, is that Highline specializes in information security, and that's my favorite thing in the world, um, and that that's actually a very uncommon thing for higher education in general, um, particularly at community colleges. So we have this established cybersecurity program I call information security. Um, and it's, I think, pretty unique. That would be like the other side of our program here at Highline. Um, they should choose starting at Highline because they then can transfer to a four-year school. And that means that it's smaller classes to begin with, more um, time with instructors for the early years of a computer science program. But then after transferring, um, their diploma comes from one of these bigger schools. So it's like a smarter way to start a computer science degree, I would say, than rather than starting at a big school. I'd say don't focus on languages, focus on how computers work, because you always learn whatever language is appropriate for whatever task you're working on. Um, the, so like a, a, a programming language is not like a human language. It's not like useful to talk to other people. It's just a tool you might use to implement something. So depending on where you end up working, they would have all kinds of different projects and you might end up using a language that you've never used before. So you have to become good at like learning languages. We call them languages, but in the pedantic sense, they're like not, they're not what you would think of as a language. They're just a tool you use to implement something. Yeah. Yeah. Although a bachelor's degree will give you the best chance at landing a position in software development, there are alternative routes. Coding boot camps have grown in popularity as a way to gain experience with coding. Additionally, if you have the discipline, there is loads of information online for free that can allow you to gain the necessary experience with coding as well. Good luck out there. <laughs>